Well, it's not been a very good time for CNN lately. Their ratings are in the gutter. They've been recently bought out by Discovery, who's planning major changes for them, uh, not surprisingly. The much-heralded streaming service, CNN Plus, failed after one month. And it's not surprising because nobody asked for more Jake Tapper or Brian Stelter, and it turns out nobody wanted more Jake Tapper or Brian Stelter. Yeah, it sounds like uh, maybe change is needed. And that brings us to this. Uh, CNN will consider firing partisan talents. Now, the new president of CNN, Chris Licht, has stated publicly that he wants to change CNN from what it is now to what it used to be, which is just simply a place we can get reliable news, nonpartisan news. Although in reality, it was never really that unbiased, but they'd like to recreate uh, that perception again to retake that place in the center between MSNBC and Fox News, which I personally think there is a market for. But let's get into this. A new CNN president, Chris Licht, is evaluating its partisan pundits to see if they can adapt to the planned news first pivot at the network. Three sources familiar with the matter tell Axios that Licht will consider firing the talents who cannot adjust to a less partisan tone and strategy but each pundit will get a chance to prove their journalistic bones. So what have we seen from them so far that might have turned off viewers eventually? Well, Anderson Cooper described Trump as an obese turtle on his back, flailing in the hot sun. So this sort of hyper-partisanship uh, worked at the time, but it doesn't work forever. Because people either get numb to it or they just get sick of it. And the best buy date on this sort of thing might be when you get a president like uh, Biden, perhaps. How about uh, when CNN's Don Lemon doubles down after saying white men are the biggest terror threat in the country? I'm sure it goes over well at the dinner parties he attends, but it may be the sort of thing that starts to wear on his audience. How about this? Jake Tapper, Don Lemon gush over Biden interview. He said a lot of the right answers. According to them, I'm just shocked they could understand what he was saying at all. I don't know. How about the fact that they said that the walls were closing in on Trump and the Mueller investigation was going to get him, that it was only a matter of time, and it turned out they were completely wrong and it was all fake? Or how about when they told you that Biden was totally sane, totally sane and on the ball? Oh, and he's a uniter too. He's going to unite everybody. <laughs> and, uh, and what did they get for it? They didn't even get a t-shirt that reads, I watched CNN for four years and all I got was this lousy inflation. But it says here that um, each pundit will get a chance to prove their journalistic bones. What's Stelter going to do? I mean, his whole thing is just obsessing over Tucker Carlson. Oh, yeah, and ignoring inconvenient media stories on his media show. Like Judge Bans MSNBC from Kyle Rittenhouse trial. Like ignoring Trump-era media narratives that fell apart. Like the Washington Post issuing stunning corrections on articles involving the Steele dossier. Gee, these are all media stories, right? How about the New York Times forced to admit Babylon B is not misinformation? That is, in fact, satire. I mean, how does Stelter come back from this? What's he going to do? Just put some sour cream and bacon bits on his head and stare into the camera for an hour? I don't see what else he can do. And in fact, that would actually be an improvement. Let's see, quote, Litch wants to give personalities that may appear polarizing a chance to prove that they're willing to uphold the network's values so that they don't tarnish CNN's journalism brand. This evaluation presumably includes Jim Acosta, Don Lemon, Anderson Cooper, Brian Stelter, Brianna Keelar, Oliver Darcy, Van Jones, and Laura Coates. So the question is, can they be neutral sources of news? I don't think that they can. I mean, that's not going to go over very well at their dinner parties. Because, uh, you know, in case you weren't aware of this, telling the truth makes you a fascist now. And I know that because CNN told me so. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Sharing is really important. I really notice it when people share. It really helps. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.